we're here at the Witten Oval with Calder Cannon's head coach, Andrew Jago, who's going to talk to us today about all things front and centre. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, thanks, Lenny. Thanks for having me. Um, look, the drill I want to talk to you today about is what we call full ground, front and centre. Uh, most people, when they think of front and centre work, are just thinking about coming in the forward line. But actually, a lot of balls around the ground uh, end up to the front of a contest. And if you've got players in the right position, then you can uh, sweep the ball down the ground relatively quickly. So what we tend to teach with front and centre is that you need to watch the ball coming in. To get front and centre, you've actually got to have the ball arrive over the top of your head. So you need to watch the flight of the ball coming in. Uh, and then most importantly, not get in front of the contest. So you need to time your arrival. Uh, especially if you've got um, two or three players running to the contest, then you should try and stagger their arrival such that they don't all arrive at the one time uh, and therefore one player can actually pick up the ball and you've possibly got two players in positions to receive. Uh, they're probably the most important things of front and centre and then obviously the, the uh, cleanness of your hands below your knees becomes the most important thing. So we actually now need to put this into a drill. So the drill that we use to do this, as I said, is a full ground drill. Ball will start in um, the goal square uh, with two players coming out of the goal square and two players presenting off the points of the square at the furthest end of the square. They'll then uh, lead, uh, best option is taken, and two players starting on the nearest to the ball end of the square, front and centre to that. So that means they've actually got to work across the ground to get into line with the ball coming in. They then actually have to work out to stagger so they don't all arrive at once. And then once they get there, they have to work out how to get the ball off the deck exceptionally cleanly by hands, perhaps with a handball the width or perhaps with a run on. They then run forward and kick to two targets leading out of the goal square at the other end of the ground. And the two that have been front and centre can now come off the other end of the square and front and centre at that end. So it actually becomes a kick with the front and centre, handball receive, kick with the front and centre, handball receive, and then the ball can just flow back the other way. Full ground front and centre. This drill aims to teach players to work front and centre to a contest. Players working front and centre need to consider the following. One, watching the flight of the ball coming into the contest. Two, the timing of their run to arrive at the fall of the ball. Three, Players should aim to work within a 45 degree radius to the contest. Leading players must also present to the ball with consistent speed. Note, this drill requires a minimum of eight players. The drill begins with player A kicking in from full back to either player B or C who are leading towards the middle of the ground. Meanwhile, players D and E make a dummy lead up at the kicker before rolling around and working front and centre to the contest. Player B either takes the mark and handballs or punches the ball to the ground for player D who has worked front and centre. Player D then delivers a ball by foot to the leading player F, whilst players G and H work front and centre to the next contest. Player F punches a ball to the ground for player G or H to crumb the ball front and centre. Player G gathers the ball and kicks the goal. The drill end starts again from the other end. <laughs>